What's going on everyone? Gig Accountant here. My name is Nas and I'm a licensed CPA in the state of New Jersey. I'm also a gig economy worker having experience on food delivery platforms such as Grubhub, Postmates, DoorDash, Uber Eats. Referral links are down in the dis description box below if you are interested on, in signing up into one of those apps. Okay, today I want to talk about uh, the recent news report that Amazon has invested into a food delivery um, platform. So I think that this news is huge, but it's something that I haven't seen reported in the other food delivery uh, platform channels. So this is something that I want to help spread the word about. So let's get started. I'm going to start by reading the um, Wall Street Journal article about this uh, acquisition. So let's get into this. All right. Amazon title Amazon invests in UK food delivery startup Driverloo. The British meal delivery service said it raised five hundred seventy-five million dollars in a recent funding round led by the online retail giant. Okay, so Amazon.com Inc. is investing in British food delivery company Driverloo becoming one of the startup's biggest investors and signaling a continued interest in the sector that has confounded the e-commerce giant and others. Driverloo said Friday it raised $575 million in a recent funding round led by Amazon. The money will help fund its battle with Uber Technologies Inc., Uber Eats service to meet growing consumer demand for delivery meals or delivered meals. It injects an other big dollop of cash in an industry already feasting on capital from SoftBank Group Corp and other deep-pocketed investors that are fueling cutthroat competition and little in the way of profit. U.S. delivery, delivery company DoorDash Inc. also is signaling for more money working on a new round of financing that could value it close to $13 billion, according to people familiar with the situation. That would be nearly double the $7.1 billion valuation investors gave the San Francisco-based company in February and almost 10 times what it commanded in early 2018. So these food delivery platforms, these food delivery companies, they've been growing in leaps and bounds in the recent years and even just the past few months. It's clear uh, from what I'm reading here. The latest funding round for Deliveroo values it at around $3.5 billion, according to a person familiar with the matter. This, that is sharply up from the previous $2 billion for its previous funding round in September 2017. Driver Roo, or Deliver Roo, whose delivery bikes are, the most, are almost as common a sight on the streets of London as the city's black cab and double-decker buses competes with Uber Eats and other services in the UK and 13 additional markets. Other backers in the new fundraising include included investment firms T. Rowe Price Group, Inc. and Fidelity Management and Research Co. Amazon, Amazon and Driver Roo didn't disclose how much the e-commerce giant uh, invested nor give a valuation. The delivery roars. Uh, that's an that's commercial. Uh, consumers love food delivery. Restaurants and grocers hate it. I'm addicted. Why food delivery companies? What is this? Oh, that's more of the commercial. Let's, let's, um, let's skip that. The new deals underscore the long-term promise some big investors see in online delivery. SoftBank is an investor in DoorDash and in Uber, whose Chief executive at one point also pondered an investment in DoorDash. The Wall Street Journal has previously reported Postmates, another San Francisco-based delivery service, has raised almost $700 million in private capital and filed to go public in the coming months. I've seen people question why do all these uh, delivery app companies tend to like execute the same strategy simultaneously. So why did all the companies lowered um, the payouts for um, drivers at the same time or did some other um, strategy, uh, strategy execution? And the answer is kind of here. They are owned and they are invested by the same individuals, by the same groups. They are being 
advised by the same groups. That is, that is why they are executing the same strategy uh, simultaneously. They're they're all being told what to do by the same people, the same individual individuals, the same entities. Well, yeah, just a you know random thought. Uh, back to this article, Amazon's investment reflects its fascination with finding ways to get all kinds of goods from big appliances and furniture to groceries and prepared meals in the hand, hands of consumers as quickly as possible. The Seattle-based company has been building out its own delivery operations as part of that effort, pitting it against traditional logistics companies and startups to hire um, drivers. Amazon said earlier this month that it would start paying some of its employees to quit and start up their own small business to deliver packages for the company. So, yes, and in case you haven't heard that, um, Amazon has been paying some of its employees $10,000 packages to quit and start up their own uh, delivery companies where they deliver Amazon packages. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's that smart of an investment, but, you know, it's it, puts a, it takes a lot of the risk away from Amazon or not Amazon because it takes a lot of the risk away from well yeah the Amazon and puts it on squarely on the workers who would have to buy their own equipment their own trucks hire their own folks uh stuff that Amazon don't want to do and they don't want to be paying uh other companies the other delivery services to do so smart by Amazon um risky for employees who are actually taking the um payout and opening up their own business but Hopefully they do well, but back to the article. Amazon launched its own restaurant delivery service in the UK in 2016, but closed it last year, late last year. Offers such as services, it offers such a service in the US in about 20 cities, according to its website. We're impressed with driver Deliveroo's approach, said Doug Gurr, Amazon's UK country's manager. We're excited to see what they do next. Consumers increasingly expect the meals and groceries they order online to arrive at their homes as ex- expeditiously, expeditiously, whatever, as clothing and household goods. Brokerage firm William Blair estimates delivery will account for 10% of the restaurant sales by 2022. But food delivery so far has been largely unprofitable. Coordinating drivers is costly and Restaurant operators say the fees that delivery companies charge leave them scant profits on meals they send out the door. A few, such as Olive Garden owner Darden Restaurants Inc., has wagered there they are better off not trying. Shares in Grubhub, a food delivery forerunner that went public in 2014, has fallen nearly 60% from their all-time high last year. That's pretty huge, actually. I'm surprised if it's fallen that much. Maybe a good opportunity to purchase it now. I mean, I don't see any reason why. I mean, I'd have to review their um, financial filings, but I don't see any um, huge, you know, huge reason that may be causing that. Maybe it's just the competition. I have to do more research. But anyway, the Chicago-based company reported seventy-eight. Per- oh, there we go. Right into it. Seventy-eight pro- percent profit drop in its latest quarter. To six point nine million dollars, and revenue grew, while revenue grew thirty nine percent from a year earlier. So revenue is growing, profit is declining. I have to um, research why that is occurring because it's not necessarily a bad thing if they're reinvesting that into the company. But anyway, there you go. That's the entire article. So my takeaway: Amazon is entering more robustly into the food delivery service. They have entered it in the past. But it looks like they weren't that as successful in it. But anyway, it makes sense. Uh, Amazon is a logistics company or, or provide logistical. Are they a logistics company? No, not really. Well, yeah, kind of. But they do provide they provide a platform where they uh, deliver products. And now now it's going to be services, food deliveries. Well, that's also a uh, product. But so they're going to also be providing this uh, service, which is. Food deliveries. Um, and my thought about that is that it makes sense. I know that Amazon, late 2018, around two, December, they've ended their uh, relationship with Instacart for delivery of whole, whole their Whole Foods uh, products. And it makes sense if they're um, acquiring this company that they are going to be uh, executing those deliveries on their own. So 
Uh, what I think the future holds for this is that dri- um, Amazon is going to uh, integrate the dr- driver route into their Amazon Prime um, service in some way, some shape or form, or maybe they'll make an additional service, like a premium service on top of that. And that's going to be part of the um, deliveries that Amazon make for their Whole Foods uh, grocery, uh, groceries. And maybe, and then in addition to its uh, other uh, deliveries that it will be executing for uh, the restaurants. And what my thoughts about this is that competition is generally good for, uh, you know, good for the market. Uh, is it going to, but is it, who, who is it going to be good for? Is it going to be good for consumers and, or is it going to be good for the drivers? I think it's going to be good for both. I think the competition is going to, well, Amazon is a profitable business. Unlike a lot of these other um, food delivery uh, companies, um, Uber is not profitable, even though Uber Eats is the one bit of it that is profitable. Uh, DoorDash is, as far as I know, it ha- hasn't been profitable thus far. Grubhub is profitable. But but as you can see from Grubhub, it's a profitable company and it compensates its drivers well. So I think that dry, uh, Amazon, if they get into this uh, into this business uh, robustly, they are going. They're not going to be subsidized. They're not going to be subsidizing the dry, uh, the food deliveries. They're going to be getting into it in a profitable manner. And if they're if they want to get into a profitable manner, they need to also um, pay out the drivers because the drivers are not going to work uh, with them, and they're not going to be um, they're not going to be providing the service at the caliber. Uh, that Amazon requires them, unless they are being paid um, paid for it. So that brings on the question. Um, that kind of brings the question: Is Amazon going to continue doing the uh, uh, engaging these drivers in an independent contractor uh, type way, or is it going to be W two employees? I I don't know because I don't really know what driver or delivery route's current uh, model is. If it's a uh, independent contractors or if it's um or if it's employees but it may depend on the country um on some countries they probably have more strict more strict uh regulation regarding the entire independent contractor thing um my sense is that amazon will within the united states amazon will uh engage the services of drivers on an independent basis or independent contractor basis so yeah i feel like there are the amazon will probably follow Grubhub's model where they will have uh, or they will follow the Amazon's current um, flex um, Amazon flex model where they have um, time blocks uh, they have minimum uh, minimum pay guarantees and they will be engaging the services of independent contractors the one negative about this is that uh, I do know that Amazon has very um, Ha- has had caught some flack in the past about how they will fire their employees. Uh, they, apparently, um, Amazon does not need human intervention to fire an employee. It will just be the computer algorithm that will send out the layoff notice. And they don't, send, and they may not, uh, and from what I've heard, oftentimes they won't even like give a reason why the, um, the, independent contractor has been laid off it just like notice it was automatically sent out to the uh to the independent contractor that they were laid off uh due to metrics um uh, based on metrics that the algorithm is assessing and that's that they won't give any more uh information and that's probably due to legal liability reasons they can't get um, say too much reasons or otherwise they'd be uh, piercing that veil of independent contractor into a W-2 employee. So yeah, that's my thoughts. I think overall for the food delivery business, this is going to be good for both consumers and drivers. I feel like this will just offer um, drivers another platform where they're able to move into when they are being cheaped out by other food delivery platforms such as DoorDash or Uber Eats. I don't think that Amazon would engage in shady pack um, sh- shady practices of um, of kind of appropriating the tips such as how DoorDash does. So I think that this is going to be pretty good for the um, pretty good for the food delivery uh, market and for drivers overall. All right, that's all I got to say about that. So as I said, um, referral links are down below for Uber Eats, DoorDash and Postmates. 
Uh, I have other referral links down below. I'm a licensed CPA. If you need any support with um, your taxes or consulting, overall tax prep preparation or tax planning uh, services, engage. Feel free to engage me. I my r rates are subject are at my discretion, subject to change. It's currently at hundred dollars per hour. All right, everyone. That's all I got to say. Happy hustling. Go get that money. Um, go get that honey. Have a good day.